Look at that boat flying by. I mean, it's not flying, but it's moving. Speaking of flying by, look at there's a duck. Anyways, welcome back. My name is Blue Belly, and in this series, this is Paradise. We are in the last episode. Here we are, finally. It's the end. In some ways, it feels like we just kind of got going, but oh, pewterware. We can use that. We're at 10,000 food, so I don't really want to give away our food. Maybe we'll just trade. Maybe we'll just get, we'll give some reeds. Let's do, we'll get 20 of them. 20 pewter wear for 300 reeds. There's so much of this that we could use. Copper pipes. Joists, pewterware. But I don't really want to starve. So we're in the late winter. We have all these fields and all these fields. Um, and I don't want to get too panicked. But we could use a little bit more food. I would say that's probably probably safe to say. So I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to build down here. And we are going to add in Am I misremembering? I thought maybe this is Okay. I guess it's the red red ketchup mod that has some other food options where you can catch a bunch of other stuff. But uh, I'm going to put some water scavengers out here. Hopefully they won't interfere with the fishing too much. We get some water scavengers. That it just brings in a little bit more food variety. It'll be okay. Uh, I think I have to shout out. Oh, sheep and ducks. We already have chickens and llamas, kind of fulfilling those needs. But thank you. What I was trying to say is I have to shout out some some commenters for for helping me with. Okay, we're at 8,000 food. I'm going to officially release these figs. I don't want to get... I don't want to starve. I don't want to starve. Um, if we get to the point that we need those 100 fish, it's GG's for us. Uh, I know I said at the last... At the end of the last episode, I was like, we're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> and uh, that turns out to be very true. So, the thing is, we have all these sustainable crops now. I, I guess it's the issue is that I have been trading our food away too much. And that we're really not um, we're not increasing food production at the rate that we're increasing population I've been opening houses quite quickly but I would say this is sufficient agricultural growth plus we have I mean, I know the coffee doesn't count because it's a luxury item, but we have these figs, we have these apricots, and we have these oranges. I don't know. Call me old-fashioned, but I think that should be enough. So, we're making a lot of rice. I, I stand by the fact that we're, we're getting rid of a lot of it. You know, we're... What is it? Early summer. Probably too late to do this, but maybe they'll be done in time for next year. The 
let's do four more out here. And then, I mean, it seems silly to put these all this storage in if the food ends up just basically going downtown. But okay, I think I want to clear those trees. I think that could help us be able to see what the heck is going on. Oh gosh, everybody needs everything. We're out of logs. You need logs. You need, everybody needs logs. Okay, logs it is. This is really the first time in the whole series. Maybe, well, maybe early, early in the series we ran into this, but it's been pretty nice not to have to deal with cutting down trees all the time. But we have tons of workers, so we should be able to rebound that pretty quickly. What do you need, logs? All you need is chilies, and you have chilies. What, what are you talking about? I wonder what they do with the chili oil, by the way. Unrelated, sort of related. Okay, let's clear, clear those trees, too, so we can see what the heck we're building here. Bro, this looks so cool. What do we put in the middle, guys? What do we put in the middle? Uh, we have to finish this, this episode, right? Like, this has to be the... The final picture has to be this completed. Just, we need to make it work. Okay. So I think that is gonna be off. We need to move, we need to move everything. Okay, let's say no to these. What, there you go. And then, Boy, this is gonna be challenging, but it's gonna look uh, as the kids say, baller when it's done. Okay, now we're gonna do that one. We're gonna do, should we do, you know what? I'm feeling lucky. Boom. Now we'll go. Wait, here's the cat. This is the one that gets me. Is it here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And then here. Now the corner piece. Corner. I said corner. Clearly, like, you guys watched me. I clicked on the corner piece. It's so weird. Okay, and now we need to swing the camera around and around. Let's go. Right? Here, here. So the only thing that's gonna be messed up in this whole perfect little thing is these two. Do I tear them down and rebuild them? I don't know, is it worth it? Probably not. Okay, now, do we put something in here like the magazine for storage? That seems like it could look pretty cool or do we put in something like a government building like some of these things look amazing we could probably fit more than one we could put like the colonial hall in the middle of this doesn't that look cool And it's got a throughway. Oh, I think that's gotta be it. Boom. And then brick road through the building. Done. That's gonna look amazing. Okay. All right. Get this done so I can get a screenshot when it's clear. <laughs> As if anybody would even. As if anybody would even care. Okay, so, okay, you can see the gable houses a lot better. Interesting that they are literally on the street. Literally on the road. 
Okay, let's maybe give them then another road. This is going to be awkward, but we got that done. Um, oh, wow. Nice. Good work, everybody. Let's get the rest of it then. And once that's done, I'll put maybe a road up to there. Three of our four are good to go. Let's do soybeans, watermelons, tomatoes, and rock melon. Then, so we're still at 84 workers. That's insane. I feel like I should build a barn over here so they don't have to walk crazy far when they're harvesting. So I'm going to build a barn right there. Okay. So I was about to say I need to build houses, but that's what these are so we are adding quite a few look at that they built that already that is awesome and it's so i don't have to go to town arrival anymore the colonial hall acts like a town hall this is so cool so cool we have a lot of sugar cane look at all that cotton we have oh we're not doing anything with it yet so let's let's put in let's put a building in to do something with our cotton um, which would be probably the weavers we'll put a weavers here and a barn beside it so that hopefully they'll put they'll take the cotton to that barn and then the weavers can do something with it oh okay uh, then let's bring this over here. I don't want to go too far this way because we don't want to get into the forest, the coffee forest here. But, um, wow, that stockpile is apparently in a quality location because <laughs> I was going to connect up this road, but they walked through it anyways. It's fine. Uh, what did you bring us? They did bring us food that we need. We're at 14,000 food now, so I'm less concerned. Does any of this look like tropical? No. Just gonna take a thousand fish. Thank you. Why are these people not moving into a house? We've built like many houses since you started being homeless. Help me understand game, help me understand. Okay, we'll get some of that, get some of this and some of this, some of this over here. Okay, good job clearing this out. We will bring a a road from there let's bring a road across there and maybe another road there let's do salt box houses there and there go two three I think that's Yes. Nope. We'll get it. We'll get it. Don't worry about us. We'll get it. Okay. Those two can go in. But these ones, I mean, they'll go in soon enough, but not quite yet. What? That was weird. I'm 
wondering if this wouldn't be an ideal place for another government building. Like the governor's office. Kind of like overseeing the industrial area, you know what I mean? I think we're going to do that right here. And then we're going to put in a rubber tree. Town stump. We'll put some banana trees there just to sort of go with it. Okay, now let's improve this road to a double road. And then I feel like maybe two of the bigger fancy houses here. Or maybe one right there. Like like maybe this is the the mayor governor's house. Like that's the governor's office. This is the governor's house. We'll do that. Here. And then Okay. Wow, that was fast. That was really fast. Oh, they're so close to getting these done. Let's go. Summer of 48. So when the rain stops in the autumn, maybe it'll be done. Reming the... Oh, I thought that said healer. It's like the healer, but it's the hauler. Those people aren't homeless. They're jobless because I... One of the mines is out. <laughs> I'll fix that in a minute. Uh, herbs, charcoal, stone. Stone we could use. We don't have much resources to trade for it, but what if we just did like 200 stone? All right, what do you have for us? Fruit food. Okay, we're at eleven thousand. So let's go ahead and trade a thousand reeds, a thousand bamboo, and five hundred pipe tobacco. Not five thousand, five hundred. So this gets us. Let's go with a thousand grapefruit, a thousand mangoes, and five hundred nectarines. All right. Thank you. It was very considerate of you. What are you saying? The reserve of stone is low. Not as low as it was. Okay. So we're good on iron. Excuse me. I think... I think we finished this city block with artisan homes. No, no, not artisan. We finished this city block with these, these other, what did I call them, journeymen? Uh, we didn't build any hoxie houses. Yeah, these could work. Yeah, 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 let's do these. So we're going to do them off the road with, with two spaces between. So it's, here's one space, two space, one space, two. And then, yeah. What? 
Oh, that runs into the... Yeah. That's fine. And then the back row, we're going to do large colonials. And we're just going to do three of those. For the record, I would not advise doing this if you're playing. Just building this many houses is, generally speaking, a bad idea. I'm doing it because it's my last episode, and uh, I don't care. Because once this is over, I will not ever open this save again. But if you are playing uh, long term and you build this many houses, you will run into what they call a death spiral and it is that is not an exaggeration that is exactly what will happen i need to figure out a cloth out of cotton and then i need we're we're fine on clothes i mean i'm not really actually worried about the clothes But I do, I probably should build another, have another person working on making clothing. Maybe we'll put that up here. Manufacturing. Isn't there like, maybe we build one of these, Can because we can upgrade it, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll build a regular tailor. Right up here. And then we'll upgrade it to a clothing company. Yeah. I, I think more of these artisan houses or the journey I keep I keep talking about this journeyman house. Where did I see that? Is it right here? Artisan no that's artisan. Journeyman house. Yeah, I don't usually build these because I don't make enough homewares to build these, but look how cool that house is. I mean that's got to be one of the coolest models in the entire in the entire game. So I want to build a neighborhood of these. One, two. Is that just one? But yeah, okay. Why? Why did that happen? Why did it, that just do that? Weird. Okay. Much better. And then... We're at 17,000 food now, so... That feels pretty good. Why? I don't understand. I'm not doing anything differently. I've placed, what do you think, I've placed 250 houses in this playthrough? Uh, I don't get it. Okay, well, let's, let's chill out on a few of these for now. Man, they're fast. Once you get up to a certain production point, these people are fast. I'm glad we have so many homewares, though. I've never, I, this might be one of the most efficient cities I've ever built. Uh, the trade, having all that trade open from the start has really shaped the series. Is that house too far forward? <laughs> it is, it's, it's a little bit forward. What on earth? That is so strange that I... Maybe it's just the lighting. Whatever. Um, okay, now upgrade. Look at this. Oh, did I miss? Uh, it was, it was clear there for a second. I could have got my screenshot. What do you guys think? I don't know. I'd I'd love to see some comments. Obviously, this episode's going to be longer than normal. It will still probably get. You know, 50 seconds of average view time. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. I certainly enjoy it. Look at this. I mean, come on. How do you not like this game? How do you not like this game? 
It's an incredible game. Like, every every part of it, I enjoy. I like the gameplay. I like the animations. Like, the gameplay loop itself is so well done. If I was good at detailing, I would be... I would love this game even more. Where where are we even making <laughs> barrels? I, don't, I didn't even know I set that up. We apparently... Yeah, this guy, the Cooper. Yeah. So we must be out of whale blubber. Are we, do we have beeswax or whale blubber or oh, we should have tallow because we have a couple uh, butchers, so that should get going again. We don't have enough pewterware anymore to make fancy homeware. Let's go back to regular homewares. I bought some rugs. I seem to remember. And for this, what is it? We're out of copper pipes. Okay, we were just looking at this. I think I have some joists. We don't have much stone, but that reminds me. I need to figure out which one of these. Was it this guy? 0% remaining. Yep, it's that guy. We'll get that upgraded. What do you think you have enough of? 500 tools. All right, cool. You can still make tin, though. Unless maybe we are at our forged limit, in which case, let's go ahead and bump that up. Tinneries. Can of corn. What is that building? It's just backwards. <laughs> uh, whoops. Oh, well. How are you guys doing at the central market? Oh, domesticated animals. I forgot about those. All right. We want two people in here. We want you to make I think I'm going to have them make pea coats. Because we should have leather and wool. I'm going to build two of these. We have so many opportunities. I think I'm going to do the other one as a tailoring company, though, just to vary the buildings. Put the tailoring company right up here. And I'm going to have them do something else. But the uh, we're building everything now. We're in year 49. All the it's clear. It's clear. Ah, it's clear. It's clear. It's clear. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to when it get when the weather gets nice. I might actually bump the time down to one x so that I can actually take that screenshot. I don't, I don't need any of that. What do we think? Does that look good there? I kind of want this corner in it if I can get it, but I don't want that. Okay, right here is good. Boom. What a, what a cool thing. So if I was, if I was good at like cinematography, I would do something with this. Like, do do. I love that there's an orange tree inside of there. Perfect. I didn't even plan that. We've got this little area. I rarely see people here, which is sad. We've got the market and the trees and the houses. Got some more houses here. Got a ton of houses up here. Let's go ahead and put a row of these journeyman houses in. And let's take a look at our housing breakdown. Just, oh, food. 
Well, this isn't really going to affect the outcome of <laughs> of our playthrough, but I'll still do it. Nope, not that. That. Chilies. More peppers. And more corn. Okay. So. Oh yeah, these guys. Sorry guys. Get those water scavengers going. I wonder what this what's the output like? 570's not bad. You're at 520 and you are you should be at like 750. Okay, 700. I'll take it. We don't really have much to trade with. Let's take let's get 500 papayas. We don't need ducks. Thank you, though. We'll go ahead and open all these. Get them built. I cannot believe how many homewares we managed to make. So I was going to check demographics, and then I got away from that. So the overview now, look at that. Look at that. 151 families, 153 homes. You love to see it. I always say one-to-one. -one, that's what you want. You don't want to do what I did. I got too far behind this time. The, the, the two things you can do is either have too many houses and not enough families, or too many families and not enough houses. And uh, if you look at the, if, I'm sure the population, yeah, it's... It's been a nice slow, yeah, it's starting to pick up faster now, but you want this nice gradual increase uh, over time. So if we look at our 50 years, you can see how, how much it's really taken off. It was, the, in a perfect world, you wouldn't do what I did. I got a little, a little more, uh, what's the word, like, not aggressive, but like lacking caution here in the last couple of years. But if you just keep doing this, then then you'll grow, but you won't have a debt. Like I will start having people die off around, you know, a lifespan from when I built all of that. Look at those. Those are so cool. Putting them like this isn't the best, though. I should have put them, yeah, that's definitely off one. <laughs> you know what, I'm just getting rid of it. I don't even want to deal with it. Um, I should have done those scattered throughout or something. They, they look a little bit strange. Some of the housing looks normal to be, like I think these artisan houses look like a downtown kind of house. And certainly these are designed to be row houses. But those, not as much. Okay. So we want this person to be doing... Um, let's do full coats out of cloth. Because we have the weaver down here is making stuff. Let's double check and see how much cloth we have uh, in our inventory. We can look by name. We can look at cloth. We have 220. Okay, that'll make a lot of clothes. That'll be good to go. So what do we have a lot of now? Sugar cane. We really, sh the sugar production we, it could, could be a more prominent export for us. Cotton that we're trying to get spun into cloth. Flax we're not even processing yet. So that'll be the next thing to do. That's a lot of flax that's not being dealt with. So maybe we put another weaver right here. Uh, another weaver right here. And we'll have this one processing flax. Um, 
Oh, I never finished that bridge and road. Nobody's using it because it doesn't go anywhere. I could bring it there. I could bring... Can I... Doesn't seem to want to let me do that. I was going to try to put a road kind of along the coastline there, but they're walking that way anyways. Okay. This isn't really going to matter for the end of the series, but I'll do it anyways because it's the right thing to do. Oh, look at this. We got food and we have we have resources. So let's go ahead and buy some food for our people. Let's go ahead and do this. So 3450. Uh, we'll go 500 coconut 500 avocado, 500 acai, 500 guava, nope, not that, 100 guava, and 250 papayas, perfect, thank you, okay, six people are wandering around, it's another mine quit, maybe? Miners. What was the other mine that went out of business? Probably this one? No? Where else did I put a mine? There's the one here and the two over here. I don't get it. Why did it give me that out of work minor thing? Very strange. Very, very strange. Corn, nut bread, smoked chilies, rice, tin soup. Uh, 8,000 food. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. We're making so much food now, and it's just not enough. Rope, glass, glassware, crates, furniture. I think we're good. Thank you, though. All right, here we go. We're in year 50. I'm going to build these... I'm not going to add any new buildings. I'm just going to have the game build the ones that I've already marked. I hope I have enough lumber to do this. We've been making lumber constantly, so hopefully it'll work. But I'm going to label these or unlabel these to get them built. Maybe snag a couple more shots while we're at it, and uh, we'll be all done. I've been really enjoyed playing this series. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching it. I know there's like this core group of people who watch almost everything. And I really appreciate you guys. And I know, oh, look at this. Look at this. Let's try to strike while the iron's hot. Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. So the deer butcher, huh, running low. We want, yep, yeah, flax, exactly. Put two people in there. So once we get, I mean, if we were gonna keep playing it, I would wait until we had a bunch of linen and then probably even add another one of those. What do you, you used up all the wool? Okay. Um, make survival coats then. We should have, well, actually that might be a bad shout because we probably got rid of, we have lots of feathers. Do we have lots of reeds or did I trade them all? Yeah, the reeds, I'll tell you what, let's switch this fire bundler off of reeds. We'll put you on bamboo 
that way all of the reeds we make can go to the survival coat makers. You don't have enough tin? Oh, here's what it was. Okay. Well, that won't get done while it's still year 50, but I think that might be the first time I ever had that happen. Well, it's 7,000 food. You better believe I'm going to trade for fourth uh, maple sap. There we go. Can you imagine? Somebody just brought you 4,000 maple sap, whatever that was, however much that was. Okay, let's do 1,000 kumquats, I guess. And 500 coconuts. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, they're, they're out of stone. That's the issue. Is even though we're pulling stone out from here. Oh, well. What a cool little city. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of, for my own sake, take a look at everything here. We've got figs. We've got a bank barn. We've got coffee. And three different plantations. We're making tobacco, which we're drying. We're making flax, we're turning into linen. We're making cotton, which we're turning into cloth. We've got three... Uh, you know, orchards, apricots down here, oranges. I mean, think about how early in this in this this series we built this. I mean, these are our our first houses, right here. This is like it. This is the 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 shipwreck, the first houses, the first stockpile. I mean, this is where it all, literally all began. I remember putting in this fishing dock to get our essential food going. So, this is the core of the whole city right down here. And we've got this beautiful city square. I know that there are YouTubers, whatever, like, banished players out there who do prettier work for sure I don't dispute that but you know I try to have these themes and I try to make it work and I try to use tools that are accessible I've really enjoyed this I don't know what I would put in here if I was gonna keep playing I feel like another sort of service building makes sense here not straight industry but not a house but a service building in there anyways we had this little you know I never really wrote a story for this but I'm assuming that be the founder and then the always red rose I'm sure there'd be a story for that We've got some artisan houses some gable houses some journeyman houses some salt box houses some colonial houses here in the middle. What are you out of? Reeds and feathers. Everything's there. Chill out. Uh, one thing I don't quite understand is... Oh, now it filled. I was going to say, I wonder what our education looks like. Because I never built a second school. 35% educated? Oh, God. Gosh, I'm really surprised that didn't mess up our overall. I never do that. What do we, do we, don't we have like a city school in this set? I guess we could do the one room schoolhouse. Like I said, a service building. Uh, so, all right. Well, we're in the early autumn. I think we'll go ahead and pull the plug here. Obviously, this is the agricultural region up here. And uh, whatever you do, kids, if you play this game, don't do what I did there at the end and just aggressively add stuff. Do what I did for the first 40 years of the save and not what I did in the last 10. 
Uh, obviously, I did it because I knew I was going to be done with the save. But if you're hoping to play this long term, uh, don't do that. Also, I have 100 children. <laughs> so, <laughs> GG. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this series, please do. Uh, obviously like the video, but uh, drop the subscription on the channel because I play games like this all the time. I love them and the commentary style and engage. Hopefully what you find to be an engaging style is the kind of content that I enjoy creating and I will continue to do so with both Banished as well as other games. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.